Hello viewers, welcome to one more episode of Because They See. This is your host, your chef, your favorite Manjawan. Now today we are going to make something sweet and spicy. So we are going to have two variants of this beautiful mango pickle here. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing we would do is we need to clean the mango. To clean the mango, I'm going to cut the edges. You don't need that and we are going to peel it, simply peel it, okay? You we have peeled all the mangoes, okay? Now remember that I am always going to mention all the ingredients and measurements in the description box below. So you can cut them or you can simply start grating like this. Remember there is a seed inside and we don't want to grate the seed, okay? Let's keep grating. I grated this 1 kg of mangoes here and just so you know that I did not use the seed. Now I'm going to use the seed to plant a tree though. I'll show you one of the videos how my garden looks like. <laughs> okay, So here I have grated and chopped pieces of mangoes too. To you if you want it to be completely grated or completely be small chops of mangoes, it depends upon your convenience. Okay, But here I have grated and a mix of chop too. I have a wok here which is nice and warm. I'm going to add the mango. Two fifty ml of water. Give it a mix. I'll add some cardamom powder. This is one teaspoon of cardamom powder. We're gonna let the mango cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Now let's add one cup of sugar. Okay. Now I'm using half a cup of jaggery powder here too. If you do not have jaggery powder, you can just add more sugar. So it will be in total one and a half cup. But I'm going to add one cup of sugar and half a cup of jaggery powder. It just balances the flavor. I like the way it comes out. Let's add one teaspoon of salt to this. Now, I like to add salt in most of my sweets. It's because it just simply enhances the flavor. And also, we're going to use salt here is because it acts as a good preservative. Because this muramma that we are going to make here is going to stay into the fridge for a good one to two years. You, we're going to let this cook for another 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure that the jaggery and the sugar is melted completely. So our sweet muramba is ready here. So how do we check that it's ready? So we take a spoon, okay, just dip our finger and try to see if it's sticky. If it's sticky, that means it's good and it's ready. Kids love this. You can use this as mango jam and you can put it on their bread, on their chapatis and they will simply love this. Now, and let's do the chunda. The chunda is going to be the spicy version of the muramba. Okay. So to this, we are going to add one tablespoon of red chili powder. Mm -hmm. Now you understand why I said spicy. The second thing we're going to add is one tablespoon of cumin powder. Now remember this is an instant chunda, so you don't have to wait. In an Indian household, we will typically not cook this muramba, simply mix all the ingredients, leave it in a glass jar out in the sun to dry for 10 to 15 days. Now I'm making this instant for you, now you know why. It's good to use this recipe instead. So you don't have to wait for another 10 to 15 days. Now achunda is something that you can enjoy with chapati, parathas or anything for that case. Achunda is ready now and we are just going to take it in a small bowl. My dear friends, so our muramba and chunda is ready to be served. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'll try to make the recipes as easy as possible. So this is for your kids and so that you can enjoy them too. So have a good day and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.